Zahn? Zahn? Yep. Are we Zahn. doing it? Let's, Noah's, Noah's doing Fireplace Fridays today, so let me, let me take a look at something, make sure it's on. Everything. Yep, it looks live. Okay, yep, looks like we're doing good. Noah's, uh, Noah's learning uh, the trade. I want my children to, uh, to be able to work with their hands. Because if you, if you know how to work with your hands, and you know how to troubleshoot things, you know how to turn a wrench or whatever, you'll never be without a job in life. And the trades are a fantastic place for anybody to get into. We need more people in the trades. But that's not what the topic of today's Fireplace Friday is. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you have any questions or anything, uh, you can post them right below uh, in the little comment deal, like this, follow us, all that other fun stuff. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about a call that we got just this morning from a client that we had yesterday. Uh, technician got to the house. Uh, they had they had a bunch of uh, questions or anything. He uh, answered answered a bunch of them. A little bit of his documentation was a little confusing, but uh, the uh, the uh, person of the home uh, wasn't at the home. Uh, they left uh, some other people there. Obviously, the appointment was important to that person, but they didn't take the time to be at the appointment. So let's talk about that a little bit. When you set up an appointment with any service company, not just ours, any service company or what have you. It's really important to take the time to be home because things are confusing. Fireplaces are confusing. Heating and cooling is confusing. Plumbing is confusing. You need to be there so you can get your expectations met. You can ask questions, everything else. Now, we, we stress that. When you set up an appointment with our company and a lot of good companies out there, we send a pre-appointment email. We also send a pre-appointment text to remind you of your appointment and everything. And I'm just going to go over kind of what's in our pre-appointment email. See, so yeah, I'm on my phone. The girl sent it to me this morning. And we have a few things to kind of go over that are common questions that people ask, etc., etc. We have some tips and everything else. Uh, that is a very long deal. So I'm just going to hit some high points on some of this. Um, let's see here. Make sure you don't use your fireplace or stove before the visit. So it has ample time to cool down. We'll show up every so often and people have their gas logs going. We'll go, okay, which fireplace are we going to? Well, that one. Uh, gas logs are going. Oh, you just turn them off. Shh. Well, it's still hot. So that's an, important, that's an important fact. Obviously, it's summertime, so people probably aren't using their fireplace. But it's a good, important fact. So kind of like your furnace and everything. You don't want to have your furnace running when the te furnace technician shows up um, to, to do your service on your furnace um, during the winter time because it's hot, you know, and, and they won't have, they won't be able to work on it uh, very efficiently if it's too hot. So, um, if you have fragile items around the mantle of the fireplace, you want to remove them. If, gran if grandma's ashes are up on the mantle, probably not a good place when someone's doing work around that area. It, it, it is a form of construction, so it's not a bad idea to remove those valuables so the technician has plenty of space and if they bang their head on something accidentally, because we're all human, you know, uh, or accidentally run into something or what have you, at least your your heirlooms are not, you know, not right there. Let's see here. Please make sure that everything around the venting system, around the fireplace is cleared away. Kind of the same point before. Uh, if you have any installation manuals uh, on the unit that you have, or any manuals, have those available. That way the technician can, uh, you know, everybody thinks, well, shouldn't you know everything? Well, yeah, they know a lot about a lot. But there's nothing better than having the instruction manual so we can do an even better inspection. We do try to look them up online and things like that, but every fireplace has little stuff that, you know, uh, that might uh, be a requirement. And we can double check that stuff. It's just a more thorough inspection. We str now, here's the most important one. We strongly encourage the customer who hired us to be present at the appointment. Uh, that way you can make sure all of your questions, problems, concerns are addressed for you. Our technicians will go over findings and discuss the findings at the conclusion of the appointment. If you can't be present, you may call the office and go over the findings with our CSI certified office staff or schedule an appointment to come into the office. And when you do that, you can come talk to me. Yeah, we'll throw up stuff on the big screen, we'll have a cup of coffee. I love it when clients come to see me. I love it. And it's a great service that we offer. So. Um, any return trips, obviously, if we have to uh, return back out there, we didn't, we didn't budget for that, so we would have to charge a service call to come back. You know, a lot of people, well, you know, why, why do you have to charge that? Well, you have to charge it because time is money. 
you wouldn't go out and go to work for free, and we can't expect our people to go to work for free either. So respect people's time, you know, and, and, and it's your house. You want to be available on that so we can make sure we go over everything with you and everything's clear because just getting a report or pictures or whatever in, in, in the in the uh, email uh, when it's all done you get all that stuff but if you try to go through that stuff on your own it can be confusing fireplaces are confusing because it's not like when you bought the house you got a manual it's not like they teach fireplaces and plumbing and heating and cooling and landscaping and everything else uh, at school you know uh, even the guy that comes and sprays my lawn at my own house what is he putting on my lawn is that weird chemicals should my dogs be outside, what have you, what have you, you know, I got questions. So I want to make sure I'm around when that stuff happens so I can get those questions answered. That way it's a good win-win relationship with the, with your tech, uh, technician and the companies you're working with. It's, it, it's fantastic advice. Let's see here. Let's go down the list on a few more here. What else we got? Ask that the dogs be put away for the duration of the point. Put any pets away. We don't want dogs running out the door, cats running out the door. We don't want guys getting attacked or anything. Dogs are very protective of uh, women and children. So it's not a bad idea to go ahead and have the dog put away. That way, you know, nothing bad happens. No one gets bit. Nothing, you know, the dog doesn't uh, have an accident on one of the tarps or, you know, or uh, is barking when we're trying to talk or whatever. You know, just put the animals away. We try to we try to kennel our dogs when people come over, right? So if you want to see our dogs, come down to the shop. They're they're usually down here every day with us. So let's see here. Um, we need electricity, obviously, to run a vacuum, cameras, things like that. Um, never run an attic fan prior to, during, or immediately following the visit. Right now, we're having great summer, great weather. And the attic fan, we talked about those before on uh, Fireplace Friday. You want to make sure that's off because it creates a negative pressure. We don't want air coming down that chimney. We have, you know, uh, well, our, my chimney's over there, but we don't want air coming down that chimney when we're trying to do stuff. And then we get dust or whatever in the house. That's not cool. So just turn it off. I know I've had my attic fan on, but I'd turn it off if I had someone come over to work. Even, even plumbers because it actually will back air up um, through the plumbing too. Uh, let's see here. If you ever have uh, trouble receiving emails, just give us a uh, give us a contact. But add uh, add our email address because you know emails go into spam real easy. It's not a perfect world. I wish I could stop that from happening, but you can just by adding our uh, um, outgoing or info at KC Sweep to your email box. That way you get all your stuff at the end because we are paperless. We want to be energy conservationists. We want to do good for the planet. We don't want to have a bunch of paper that gets thrown away. You know, kind of like I stop getting receipts. I have them emailed them to me, so I can just put them into my digital file, and it does, and it keeps my carbon footprint in this earth that we all have to live in down. So it's good, right? I'm trying to do my little piece. Let's see here. Then we go over what you should expect from your service technician. You know, how long it takes, and uh, you know, inspections. How long? Because the cool thing about us is we call you in route. We give you a 30 minutes heads up. So you can go on with your day until it's dead on time. You don't have to sit at home waiting for us. It's a great service. I love it when other service companies I have do that because I'm busy too. And I want to get a lot done during the day, right? So if they call me 30 minutes out, I can get back home and I don't waste all my time sitting there waiting. Waiting, waiting. When they coming? When they coming? You know, so it's, it's a good service. We do that. Let's see here. What else we got? Uh, how often you should have stuff done annually, get it checked out yearly, make sure everything's cool, carbon monoxide things. Um, some questions that you might ask your technician, you know, some people have, you know, hey, I've got questions. Well, it's good. When you, might, when you make the appointment, obviously you made the appointment for a reason, you know, start writing down your questions. That way you don't forget any. Um, and that way you have a very good experience and it's very clear. But again, it's real hard to ask questions or have expectations or what have you when you're not there. You gotta be at the appointment. Take the time, be at the appointment for these things. Um, let's see here. We have some offers, so you can mention some offers, save some money when we come out, um, you know, on waterproofing and chimney caps and things like that. And then what happens when the service is completed? Uh, we go down the whole process when we, from taking the payment and to getting all your stuff, the guys go over everything, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, and then we have a free 60 day service warranty. Uh, if you have questions about that, uh, we're the only company I know of uh, that actually offers that. Uh, contact our office, we can send you details on that. No problem. Free! Free! Let's see here. Uh, we also offer financing, things like that. Um, 
and there you go. So financing is nice because, you know, sometimes chimneys, how do we put this? Most chimneys have never had work done, and I live in a house that's at least, you know, 40 some years old. And when I moved in, my chimney had never had any work done on it, and I think we've been in the house about 15 years now. Chimneys fall apart over time. So it's to be expected that, you know, if the chimney's never had any work done on it, it's probably why you're having us out to do an inspection or what have you, and it probably needs work, probably needs maintenance. You know, things fall apart, even if you don't use them. They still, you know, if you leave a car in a garage and don't drive it, don't start it, it's probably gonna need a little bit of TLC before you decide to drive it from Kansas City to California, right? Not a bad idea. So, you know, just think reasonable, hey, okay, and then, you know, and then be at the appointment, get all your questions answered and everything, because again, fireplaces are confusing, just like a lot of stuff in life. Fireplaces are confusing. And if you go to the internet and start looking around, you're gonna get so much information, good, bad, ugly. That's why we wanna tailor everything for you at the appointment. So, I think we've talked long enough for today. Like I said, that's kind of our process. It's a real nice process. We get a lot of great reviews. Uh, if you'd like to leave us a good review, please uh, go to our Google, leave us a nice Google review. We love seeing those. It really builds up the team here at Flues Brothers. We love you all. Thanks again for tuning in to Fireplace Fridays. Give us a holler, 913-236-7141, or come see us here at uh, Flues Brothers World Headquarters. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday.